What's going on, everybody? We are here at San Diego Comic Con 2018 with Colossus himself, the one and only Stefan Kapicic. Stefan, My man. what's going on, man? It's it's really good to see. You. I missed you last year. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Uh, here we, we, we can work on out this time. Well, you know what? I'm I'm totally jet lagged. I just arrived yeah. from Europe after like a month and a half doing promotions, comic cons, and things, and. I'm so happy that I'm in San Diego and to see you. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've been so talking a long time. I was finally glad to, to be in the same room and get to chat a little bit. Yes. It's been a really, really busy year for you. Uh, you know, we had Deadpool 2 come out, obviously, um, and, and we got Better Call Saul coming uh, this fall on AMC. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that, kind of that, that journey from you know, going to Deadpool 2 and then going out to the desert to shoot Better Call Saul. Just what 2018 has been for you so far? Well, it's magnificent. It's, it's so beautiful, and I'm really lucky that I have a chance to be in... in you know, productions like that, you know. So I was filming Better Call Saul for like last two and a half months in Albuquerque. So that was really interesting experience, you know, after Deadpool and, you know, Vancouver and everything else, totally different cast and different. But both projects are so amazing. And, and I learned so much, you know, from especially from the cast of and, and directors of Better Call Saul. And I'm so happy that people are going to see what they did for this season. Yeah. And about Deadpool too, you know, everything, everybody almost saw it, so yeah. that's that's a huge thing for yeah. me. It, As yeah. we know here, it, it, it made a lot of money. It made significantly more money than, than Solo, a Star Wars story, which is a, a big deal to me. Helped me win a bet, so I really yeah, appreciate I know, you guys yeah. doing some hard work there. Yeah, Brendan, we, we feel you, <laughs> so yeah, I just have to say that. But then again, uh, we have the thing that, that, that Deadpool made much money, of course, but... He, it made so many people happy. That's the yeah. biggest thing. You know, I have, I'm, I'm receiving so many messages from people, you know, watching it so many times in a row and they're like feeling so good and so happy, yeah. which, which is the power of Deadpool franchise generally. Yeah. You know, we need those movies like that. So. Yeah. And, 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 you know, from getting to know you over the past couple of years, like you're a big comic book nerd. Like you, you love comic books way before you became Colossus. Oh, yeah. uh, and one thing you told me when we first spoke a couple of years ago, you said, I really hope in the sequel I get to fight Juggernaut. And, and we got to see that happen in Deadpool 2. Kind of walk me through finding out that news. And, and, and it was weird on set because it was a lot of green screen, green screen work. So yes. it wasn't a full-on fight for you guys. Well, you know what? Like, as, as, as you said, I'm a huge comic book geek. So my, one of my favorite comic books definitely is X-Men. And, you know, I started with, like, Wolverine becoming my, one of my favorite characters. But then you get into X-Men. And then you, as an Eastern European guy, as I am... So you always feel for Colossus because he's Russian. So, you know, you, you, you start loving him when I was a kid. So yeah. for me, if you ask me, one of the things that I always wanted to see on the big screen was Juggernaut versus Colossus. That's yeah. an ontology fight. Yeah. And me becoming Colossus and having this kind of a thing in my life and my career is definitely, as I say, like Academy Award for me. It, it, it's, it's insane. Especially, you know, the thing that, that I have that line... Uh, pick on someone your own size, yeah. you know, that's one of the things you always want to say like yeah. in any kind of a movie or yeah. like just whatever So I had like so so many amazing uh, I, I Just did all those dreams that I had as a kid, you know, I just did it through Colossus. Yeah, and now uh, one thing we learned kind of as the movie came out uh, Ryan voiced uh, <laughs> Juggernaut yet. Did you know that when you guys were filming? Did you know no. he was gonna be doing it or no no nobody well? Some people, they, they knew it. <laughs> Nobody from the cast know that. So I remember going to the set and, you know, I was getting into my CGI costume and everything else. And Ryan was supposed yeah. to come and do something with me. And I thought, of course, it's regarding Deadpool and Colossus. Yeah. That was in post-production. And then I saw Ryan coming in and he was like putting the CGI. And I'm like, what's going on, guys? And they're like, well, nobody could tell you this before, but he's doing Juggernaut. So he did a brilliant job, and, and I'm really a huge fan of how, you know, how Juggernaut looks. Oh, yeah. I was not a big fan of the first Juggernaut, <laughs> so, so Ryan did it brilliantly, as same as he did uh, Deadpool, of course. But, you know, doing all these things with him, and, and you know, they brought this Juggernaut thing w w without showing his face, just helmet, which is the Juggernaut we love, the comic book, yeah. accurate. So working with Ryan was always perfect, and, and you know, in, in both ways, because now we have Colossus and Deadpool having, like, really specific and really amazing relationship. And then we have Juggernaut Colossus doing this fight, which is, for me, brilliant, and, and, and people love it so yeah. much. And, and I'm just a lucky guy, you know, having all these chances. And, uh, and, and speaking of your, kind of their relationship, we're going to get to see that evolve even more uh, coming forward, because we got X-Force on the horizon. Yes. Um, and I know that there was talk about, about production starting you know, later this year, early next year. Kind of what's, uh, I'm, 
things are under wraps. What, what can you tell me about what, what to expect from that franchise as it kind of moves into its next, next stage? Well, the, the only thing that I know and everybody knows that we have a third director now after yeah. Tim Miller and, and David Leach and Drew Goddard is amazing guy yeah. and an amazing director. We still don't know what's going on with the script because he's still working on his last movie. And, and, and when he's done with that, I think that he's starting to like develop or whatever he has right now. So uh, well, nobody's sure what's going to happen, but, but I'm not doubting it. I know, yeah. you know, after Deadpool 2 and all these things that are happening in the movie, it's kind of natural to have Colossus being a part of X-Force. Yeah. I would love to see Colossus going back to his, you know, X-Men. Mm. And who knows, with all these Disney, Fox mm, things, I'm hoping that X-Men are going to join... MCU, like Eventually. Avengers, and yeah. yeah, I would love to see Colossus go against Thanos, or you know, so cool. oh, come on. Imagine yeah. if he would have been there. Like, like they they could have used someone like Colossus on the planet, you know, before the snap. Like, I'm sure he could have. I'm sure he could have helped. No, that would be perfect. You know, just like <laughs> Silver Surfer and Colossus on yeah. the board going against Thanos, and then then you have Galactus or whatever. That would be insane. And, and the one other movie I want to mention, you know, we're talking about these these X Men films, something that really, really, you know, under wraps, I mean, it hasn't been brought up a lot, is this, uh, this secret project uh, that they're, they're talking about, uh, about this Kitty Pride solo movie. I know that it's very, it's a lot of rumor heavy of Brian Michael Bendis writing it, a Tim Miller thing. Um, you know, what are your kind of hopes for that? Because I know, you know, Colossus and, and Kitty Pride have long in the comics always had this relationship. Yes. We just had them, you know, almost got married in the comics yes. recently. And, yeah, I know. And it's been an ongoing thing, you know, so what are you kind of hoping to, to see as, as that? as that moves forward? Well, I would love, of course, Colossus to, yeah. to, to, to yeah, see Kitty Pride in this version. And of course, I would love to see Colossus and Ileana, Majik, his sister, mm -hmm. together in one of like it's, the future. It's supposed to be in New Mutants. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's played by Anya Taylor-Joy, and I, I'm really a huge fan of her work. I think she's perfect for playing Colossus' sister, or my sister, if I can say it like that. But we'll see, you know, it's it just, that's, that's the project that's, as I know, it's in development, so I love Tim Miller and I love how this guy works. So whatever he touches, it becomes like really amazing. He's working on Terminator right now, so I, I believe it's going to be an amazing Terminator. So then again, you know, I, I trust Tim. Whatever he decides to do regarding that with the X-Men franchise, I, I think that's going to be a great success. And, you know, it depends on the storyline, but Kitty Pryde without Colossus even a little bit, that it's wouldn't tough. be. It's, it's tough. tough. Yeah. yeah. So, I think that there is a huge possibility you're going to yeah. see Colossus and Kitty Pride. Well, that would be really, really exciting. And that's something we all, we all want to see. And my last question for you, I just mentioned it the, the big wedding issue that everybody talked about outside of uh, Catwoman and Batman in DC, there was the big wedding in Marvel with Colossus and Kitty Pride. And as we know now, that didn't happen, and, and Rogan and Gambit took the wedding yeah. instead. So, did you read that when it came out? And if you didn't, what were your what were your reactions to hearing the news and, or reading that uh, that the, the wedding didn't happen as as everyone was kind of hoping? Well, I felt <laughs> I felt bad. Uh, well, it's it's a good twist in a way, yeah. and I feel bad, of course, yeah, because it's something that needs to happen in so many ways. But maybe it, we're just waiting for the movie in a way or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Stefan, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, thank you so much for having to you me. And, uh, yeah. and uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can chat again sometime soon. And thank you guys uh, for watching. Stay tuned to comicbook.com all week long for some great stuff at a San Diego Comic-Con. And we will see you later. <laughs>